The Retrofit Escapade is a new machine gun introduced in Destiny with Season of the Seraph, and it comes with a brand new perk, Target Lock. Damage increases by an improved amount the longer this weapon remains on a target, plus it rolls 4 times to charm, and it can have extended mag. This, in combination with volatile rounds on Void classes, makes this gun absolutely bonkers. As you can see on screen, maybe you've seen one or two videos of uh, annihilating every single raid boss slash dungeon boss in the game, uh, just about. And uh, people wanted to know, what are you using? What's your build? How does this work? Etc. So, in this video, I'm going to go over each class and what I would run on that class, what you can use to make this abomination go off on anything in the game. So, here we go. First, let's just talk about the gun itself. What do you need? You need target lock on the weapon. That is the only must on this gun to have. You absolutely must have this on for this uh, build to work in the way that it does work anyway, or maybe how you've seen it work. Target lock is, well, pun intended, a lock. Aside from that, you don't actually need anything else on the gun. However, four times the charm does improve the benefits of your DPS overall as it gives you free bullets uh, I believe two bullets every, you know, like one second over and over as you shoot a boss in particular, especially if you have a divinity on that boss. So four times the charm is not mandatory, but it does help quite a bit. Finally, the only other thing that could matter on the gun is the mag perk, in this case extended mag. Why? Because it just gives you the most bullets. That's quite literally the only reason why extended mag is the best. You don't need to have this either, but it's just an improvement. Other than that, you can run whatever you want in the first barrel slot and run whatever, you know, Ambush or Suro Synergy, that doesn't matter. And for mods, you can run either Boss Spec or Backup Mag. Personally, I think Boss Spec is better. I think the results overall on a boss is better by using this instead of Backup Mag. So that's just my suggestion, but you can run whatever you want. With the gun out of the way, let's talk individual classes. So I'm going to start on Hunter because that's the popular pick that everyone has seen. It's also the most consistent for this particular build of DPS. So for Hunters you're going to need one thing specifically, and that is Jura Falcons, the chess piece exotic that has recently been introduced into the game. It got changed also going into the season, so now what it does is your void weapons gain volatile rounds after you emerge from being invisible. That is the main thing that matters in this exotic. Everything else is just cherry on top. So you going invisible immediately gives you volatile rounds, which immediately makes your retrofit go nuts. And as you may know, hunters can be abuse the living hell out of invis on Night Stalker. You can go invisible several ways. You can have your dodge make you invisible and also reload your weapons. So you want to have Marksman's dodge on your hunter. On top of that, you can also use the snare bomb or the smoke grenade slash shatter dive to also make yourself and your teammates invisible. And if your teammates also have Jura Falcons on, that will help them proc volatile rounds as well. Now the aspects I ran are Vanishing Step and Ambush, that's how everything flows the way you see on screen. And then for Fragments, this isn't anything needed again, but having Echo of Obscurity makes it so if you finish an enemy, you immediately gain invisibility. And again, once you're invisible, you just shoot your gun and boom, instant volatile rounds off the bat. The only other Fragment that could matter in this build particularly is just having Echo of Undermining, which just gives you weakening when you use your grenade for like a solo build if you're not running Wither Horde or you're not doing a fire team activity, just chuck a grenade and then that target is weakened. Last thing to note, the super. So I know some people keep saying use Mobius Quiver and while I get what you mean and why you would run it, because obviously it does more super damage to hit a target three times in the face. However, with the way the gun is working, whether it's bugged or not, whatever you want to believe, using Deadfall is much better because it's a one-time Deadfall and you can do it preemptively before you start a damage phase. And the machine gun actually out DPSs what a Mobius Quiver shot would do on a boss anyway. On top of that, if you had to use Mobius Quiver, you have to fire, hit the boss, end your animation, land on the ground, and then reset target lock on your LMG. Not to mention having to reapply invis as well. So overall, in a DPS instance, the machine gun's actually better than just using Mobius Quiver. So you're just better off running Deadfall. Let's talk mods real quick. So this season, season 19 you should run weak and clear, not just because it weakens the enemy and gives you more damage, but also the reload effect that this gives, which a lot of people seem to just not realize that it does. Essentially, what you can do to start a damage phase is throw with a horde, shoot your retrofit, do your invis, and then once you run out of ammo and you may not have a dodge or a smoke to use, you can actually throw your with a horde again at an enemy, and then this will reset your retrofit back to full ammo, and then you just switch back to your machine gun and continue damage. So it's very helpful in that 
effect as well. Now, if this is gone and you're watching this at season 20 or up, then you might just want to replace it with double utility kickstart because you would want to get your class ability back as fast as possible because that will give you your ammo back and it'll make you invis again. Same thing would apply to your melee if you want to build into that. That is what you would want to have on your class item, at least in my opinion. Now, for slots in the fourth row, I think the best way to use this, at least in a team instance, is running Font of Might, Time Dilation, and then Elemental Ordinance. Elemental Ordinance is just simply you throw a grenade at an enemy, it kills the enemy, it makes a uh, Elemental Well, and that's how you get your Font of Might. So the way I built my Hunter is I put in one Elemental Ordinance, then in whatever slot you want, I put Elemental Time Dilation in here, and then for the rest, I ran Font of Might on all three. So Triple Font of Might, one Dilation, one Ordinance. Why? Because Time Dilation makes it so that the timer on Font of Might extends much longer than it normally would. So instead of the usual 15 seconds, you get 20 seconds, 25 seconds, 30 seconds. You can even run four uh, Font of Mites if you want to get spicy and throw a grenade at an enemy for Ordinance. That enemy dies, then you switch your Ordinance class item for another Font of Might, and you get a higher time limit. But that's just, you know, that's getting over the top if you want to, like, do boss fakes or whatever. The average player doesn't need to worry about that. Now, one last thing, and you could do this on any of the classes, Warlock, Titan, Hunter, etc. So, you can actually subtract one Font of Might and do a Elemental Charge build, where you, when you make your Well, you would also become Charged with Light. And by doing that, you can also run a High Energy Fire mod in a different slot, therefore making it life easier for you when you're in a activity where you're either by yourself or you're in a fire team but don't have a Well of Radiance. So, you can have High Energy Fire active on whatever you're doing for champions, bosses, etc. Again, any class can use this combo too. As long as you run either High Energy Fire or Fontamite, or maybe somehow even put in both, you're good to go. Both of them give damage buffs. So Titans, you're gonna have to get a little creative with this because you don't have the luxury of going invis over and over like Hunters do. So the one thing you're gonna need in your build is, fragment-wise, you're gonna go over to Echo of Instability. This says, defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to your void weapons. That's how you get your volatile going on titans so the main thing is here you want to put this fragment on and then try to spec into discipline as much as possible in your build because you're going to want to have your grenade back as much as humanly possible another thing you're going to want to rock is offensive bulwark while you have an overshield or you're inside a hero war dawn your grenade charges significantly faster so that also will help you out getting your grenade back to re-roll your volatile rounds on enemies well then how do you get an overshield right well there's a couple of ways first up you can run shield bash final blows with shield bash grants you an overshield of course, then you can also rock your standard barricade on Void Titans. I'm sure everyone's familiar with those as they're running literally everywhere in Crucible. So, two very easy methods of getting overshields there. Quick edit, I'm an idiot and almost forgot Actium Warrig, the exotic of choice for Titans. This exotic steadily reloads auto rifle or machine gun ammo as you're firing, in this case machine gun for retrofit. So on top of retrofit having a 4 times the charm perk to give it ammo over time while you're firing, this also steadily reloads your machine gun ammo almost like you're using auto loading without actually swapping weapons. And it's just going to make it so that your ammo count just stays up and it will take you forever to run out of ammo. And most likely in any damage phase you won't even run out of ammo for a boss DPS phase and it'll just end before you lose your ammo. That's how good this exotic is. But let's get back to the rest of the video. Alright Titans, let's talk about mods. So. Elemental Ordinance, I think, again, is a very good uh, item to use on every class, so I'm going to recommend it again here. Getting Grenade Kill gives you an Elemental Well. On top of that, for your helmet, you could try using Ashes to Assets, because it would give you your Super back, which in turn gives you a free Overshield, which again, recharges your grenades faster. So, that's just another uh, method or a pathway for you to get Overshields to keep cycling your abilities over in your uh, helmet slot. For gloves, now, in the fourth slot, again, you just rock Phantomite, Dilation, uh, High Energy Fire, whatever you want. In the middle slots, though, I do recommend you try out Grenade Kickstart. Well, I don't think I need to tell you what this is for. You get your Grenade Energy expanded, and then you gain Grenade Energy back, just getting your stuff back faster than you normally would. And in case you're wondering why I didn't say use Melee Kickstart, it is because the before-mentioned Monte Carlo will give you your Melee back in a matter of, like, 10 seconds. So there's no point in running this when this can benefit your grenade recharge rate much faster. For class item, Bomber is probably the way for you to go. This is your grenade cooldown when using your class ability, aka spam your barricade 24-7 like Titans already do in PvE and PvP for that matter. 
So you might as well spec into getting your grenade back faster with Bomber. Warlocks, you're on the same boat as Titans. You don't have invis spam .exe on your character unless you have a hunter on a leash. So you're going to need to spec into a grenade build as well to try to help your machine gun as much as possible. So again, you're going to need Echo of Instability to get your volatile rounds going. And then the rest is actually a typical uh, Controverse Holds build, which is the exotic of choice you're going to be running for this, in my opinion. So the thing you want to have is Devour, Feed the Void, which is pretty standard. Once you activate Devour with your grenade by getting a kill, you'll have a 10 second timer to keep getting kills. And as you get these kills, regardless of whether it's an ability kill or a weapon kill, you will get grenade energy back extremely fast. And every single time you get a grenade kill, you will get a, a Fontamite well, and then you'll have your Volatile Routes procced and ready to go as well. Then Chaos Accelerant works great with Controverse Holds, as I mentioned. Hold your grenade button to overcharge it, making it deadlier, more effective, more damage, more grenade energy recharge. It's actually perfect. And then for your super, if, in case you care, I run Cataclysmic because it, it just does more damage overall than the other Nova Bombs. And uh, Nova Warp is just a uh, poo-poo right now. For your grenade, I personally go with a Vortex Grenade. It just does more damage over time if you land it on a target that's not running around the entire map. You know, like a stunned champion that's stationary or maybe a boss. So it just fits perfectly. For your grenade, I recommend using Vortex because it works the best with your exotic in slot. Which is going to be good old Controverse Holds. If you don't know what Controverse Holds do, basically it gives you damage resistance and it charges your grenades to overcharge to do more damage. As well as you getting grenade energy back on hits on your enemies. So for example, if you're throwing your grenade at a chunky enemy, maybe a stunned champion, an orange bar, a boss, etc. Your grenade does charge faster over time, actually significantly faster over time, to the point of where if you're doing, let's say, solo loss sectors and you throw a grenade at a wave of enemies, you're more than likely getting back 80 plus percent of your grenade. And then any abilities you do afterwards will also give you grenade energy, such as your melee, so you can get your grenades back extremely fast with a Controverse Hold Warlock build. So if you're just ticking down an enemy, you're getting that energy back and you're just sucking them dry. In-game, of course, in-game. And you get your grenade in a matter of seconds. Now again, just like Titans, I would recommend running Grenade Kickstart. Now I do want to mention you could use Bolstering Detonation, which grants you class ability energy when you cause damage with grenade to use instead of Grenade Kickstart. However, I personally think Grenade Kickstart is better, but that's just me. Now similar to Titans, you'd want to run Ashes to Assets on your helmet. This isn't in particular to somehow help your machine gun damage or your grenades, but since you're going to be getting a ton of grenade kills anyway, you might as well gain a ton of super energy from it and then have a free Nova Bomb to throw at a boss when you are in damage phase. Again, for the 4 slot, nothing else changes. You grow on whatever you want here. Elemental Charge, Charge with Light, High Energy Fire, Fanta Might, Time Dilation, and Elemental Ordnance, are, again, are the safe picks to go for this build. For class item, and just like Titans, you want to rock Bomber just to get your grenade cooldown as much as possible, It should you need it. You know, if your Devour combo ends up not working out too well, just rock Bomber. Additionally, you could also run distribution to reduce all ability cooldowns when using your class ability and your targets as a you know cooldown for grenades and super if you'd like that pretty much covers everything or at least i think that's everything for uh, your retrofit escapade demolition derby build but if i miss something or maybe you have a question about something regarding the builds let me know i'll try to answer in the questions aside from that if you enjoyed the video or if this helps you make your insane build uh, a like and a sub would be appreciated does help the channel also stream daily on twitch link for that is in the description below. Uh, aside from that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. Uh, next will hopefully be the new Glaive with uh, the close to melee perk and see if that demolishes bosses. Hopefully it will. I have uh, I have high hopes. Alright, catch you guys in the next video.